Hey y'all, I'm Jamie Dean. I'm in Mama's kitchen. There's Mama over there. I don't know. Is she ready to be seen? Wave, Paula. Ooh, that's about all you want to see. Hey, Mama ain't ready. Hi. <laughs> so we've always got a million things going on here, and you know that I'm here today to share an easy, simple recipe with you. Today we're doing summer squash boats that are stuffed with sausage. So I got a couple of things started already while y'all are gone. Look. That sounds good. I love saucy. I got medium straight neck sausage that I put in our pan here, filled up squash. halfway with squash. What'd I call it? <laughs> sausage. I did. Sausage, squash, who cares? I got four medium yellow squash, the straightest necks I could find. They're in this saucepan, half full of water. I had it covered. This has been cooking for about seven or eight minutes. And now I've turned it off because I want these to soften, but I don't want them to cook all the way through. So while I was doing that, I've got my pan hot here with some olive oil. And I'm gonna add these three sausages. Now I got these from our, our local grocery store here. These come in a casing, which I cut off. My wife does recipes with this sausage just up shells. So we really like this sausage, so we just pop it right out of the casing. That's what we've done here today. I'm going to brown these for about four minutes or so, and then I'm going to add some other ingredients in here. So, Cliff, how about a little magic of television? I'll see y'all in a few minutes. Okay, y'all, we got me going about four minutes here. I'm going to add our onions. And I'm also going to add... A little salt and a little pepper here. I like to season my onions. This is going to go for another four minutes. Now I'll show you all something else I like to do. I'm going to turn this down. We're going to try to do it all at the same time. Just go to low. If I'm cooking with tomatoes, y'all, what I really like to do is season those separately. So I've got my tomatoes. I have a pint of tomatoes that's coming into this recipe. And I always do this. I'm going to season them separately. Nothing like a sweet summer tomato with a little bit of salt and pepper on it. So I want to make sure you get those seasoned well. And now we're going to deal with our squash boats. So how we're going to do our squash here is take this out. I'm going to trim the edge off here. Trim the edge off the bottom here. And we're going to cut it right down the middle. It's browned a little bit on the edge that it was sitting on, but that's totally okay. Because when we finish stuffing it with all this other stuff, you'll we'll never see that again. You heard me mention Cliff a little bit earlier. Cliff is the smartest person around here because he can run the computer. So as many times as we mess up, Cliff can always fix it. So maybe it would be easier for me to sometimes talk to Cliff when I'm talking to y'all and say, Cliff, we really need to speed this up, babe. This is boring. I'm going to do these other squash. Y'all stick around. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Now, I've scooped out our squash, and I'm going to salt and pepper that as well. So here's our squash boat. See, we cut them in half, scooped them out. Our onions and sausage have been cooking over here. So to this mixture, I'm going to add what we scooped out of the sausage and, I don't know, 98% of the tomatoes. The runaway tomatoes. <laughs> now I'm going to cook this down until the tomatoes break down just a little bit. Let's see if I can play operation. There we go. So this is gonna cook for about one more minute and we're gonna break that down. Okay, y'all, now we're getting down to it. So in this small bowl, I'm gonna add, uh, thanks, see, our panko, our shredded Parmesan, and I've got a little bit of rush, uh, rough chopped Italian parsley here. So this is what's going to top all this delicious goodness in our squash boats. Now, if you want to do this with zucchini, certainly can. If you like to eat zucchini better than you like to eat squash, any of those will work. And your seasonings, you can change that any way you'd like, but try this way first. This sausage with the tomatoes and the inside of our squash, the right amount of seasoning really lends itself to this dish. It's so delicious to have the sausage. Now I'm going to stuff these boats with what we've cooked. And don't worry if you've got a little bit left over, y'all. I did four squash, which should be eight halves, but I didn't have enough room in this pan. So if you wanted to save some of this off, it'd be a great way to start a soup or a chili or any kind of stock that you have going. I'd put it on white toast. 
It's really, really, really good. This would be awesome with some pasta and you can bake it in your oven. Or what I'm gonna do is just cover all of these. This is gonna be more of a covered boat than a stuffed boat. If you wanna really take your time and do these just inside of these little boats, they're beautiful hors d'oeuvres. And you know, it's all what you make of it. You wanna make it perfect and just so, so everybody knows that it's a squash that they're eating, more power to you. Today, my 11 year old has to go get his shots. My 15 year old has to go to work. And my two year old has probably gone to the bathroom somewhere. So I'm not gonna fool with that today. We're doing overstuffed boats. Now back to our panko, our cheese, and our Italian parsley. I'm gonna coat these on the top. Now this is gonna go in the oven for about 25 minutes and it's gonna take you two to five minutes to eat it all because it's so delicious. Y'all stick around, wait till you see it. We're going in the oven with our squash boats. 25 minutes, y'all. You know what, I'm busy. Everybody's busy, I got three kids. Matthew's gotta go get his 11 year old shots today. Jack has to be downtown at the restaurant to work at one o'clock. I'm running up against the clock. My two year old, I'm positive has pooped in his pants somewhere. I gotta go help my wife. I will not be here for you to see the end of the beautiful squash boats that I made but perhaps my lovely mother will come in and back clean up for me. Anyway, appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm Jamie Dean, that's good squash. We'll see you around the kitchen. This looks so good, Teresa. Too bad Jamie's not here to see I know. Console. So I get to take credit for this. <laughs> no, Jamie had to run out, y'all. So he asked if I would um, take this out of the oven and show y'all what that wonderful squash dish looks like. And I wanna taste it too. Uh, I see he's got little cherry tomatoes. It looks like bacon. Sausage. Sauce, oh, it's sausage. Okay, and breadcrumbs. And it has some onions. Mmm, it some looks delicious. Well, you know, you do anything for your children. So I'm going to force myself to taste it. <laughs> wow. Mm-mm. Delicious. It can't, ouch. Can't go wrong with sausage. Mm. What kind of sausage, sauce, sausage did he use? Mild Italian turkey. Okay. Oh, so, so it's, it's healthy on the healthier side. That's delicious, Teresa. Delicious. It would make a wonderful side for a steak, chicken, pork chop, or just like this because you got your protein in it. Right, Jamie? <laughs> Absolutely. Way to go, son. <laughs> Loving best dishes from Jamie Dean and Paula Dean to you. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.